This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Covering the Trump grift is a full-time job. I mean, it's more than a full-time job. It is... Uh, it takes multiple media outlets having dedicated reporters and trumpet journalists to cover the Trump grift, just the depth, the width and the breadth of corruption and self-dealing and bilking his own supporters out of their hard-earned money. And this is continuing. Uh, a few days ago, I talked about Bill O'Reilly and Donald Trump teaming up to go on tour and do rallies across the country. And some of those dates have been announced. And it, it, we're now <laughs> learning that it's not going to be like the rallies of old, where the unwashed, low-information ding-dong show up and uh, get in for free. They're charging for tickets. Uh, the other day, Raw Story... Did a, uh, put out an article entitled Trump's announcement of rallies with Bill O'Reilly sets off furious backlash among QAnon supporters report. And uh, the reason that they are, that there has been a, a furious backlash among QAnon idiots is the fact, or it's something I think you're, you're going to be surprised about. It's not about the ticket price, but I'm going to get to that. We're going to talk about that a little bit. Um, I'm going to read a little bit from this article, and then I'm going <laughs> to we're going to go to the website. It, it, it's a remarkable thing here. So, uh, according to a report from Newsweek, Donald Trump's announcement that he will be touring with former Fox News personality Bill O'Reilly in December was greeted with dismay and incredulity by QAnon followers who believed he would already have been installed as president in August. The tour, which will include stops in Sunrise, Florida, then Orlando, before moving on to Houston and ending in Dallas on December 19th, carries a ticket price of $100, with Trump announcing, quote, My tour with Bill O'Reilly is getting a lot of attention, <laughs> and I'm looking forward to it. Maybe tickets would be a great Father's Day gift. In any event, I'll see you then, and much sooner. So what I'm going to do, we're going to go to the website here. We'll just go to that first uh, that first location, Sunrise, Florida. Now you see here that uh, the tickets are indeed $100 each. That's the opening bid. If you click here close to the stage, oh, here's a ticket that's available. $7,500 VIP meet and greet package. For $7,500, you'd be able to sit front row and watch Bill O'Reilly and Donald Trump wax expert on history. <laughs> I mean, really, come on, $7,500. This is a grift to end all grifts. It is disgusting, and it is not why QAnon is upset. The reason QAnon are, are bothered by this is because if he's touring the country charging $100 to $7,500 per ticket, he can't be installed as president again in an extra constitutional manner because they're expecting him to become president again. Reading again from the Raw Story article, according to Newsweek's Evan uh, Ewan Par Palmer, excuse me, supporters of the radical movement expressed concerns that Trump going on a speaking tour later this year surely means that he will not be returning as president, a false claim they have continued to believe since he lost the 2020 election more than seven months ago. Wow, it's only been seven months. Um, they go on and they give some examples. As one Telegram user, identified as Peace Lily, wrote, quote, okay, of course it's all in caps, okay, I guess my question is, Trump coming, is Trump coming back? Why would he be doing a tour through the end of the year with O'Reilly? Hmm, something doesn't feel right. And then another, so nothing will happen until December, wrote another, with a third adding, man, I sure hope we don't have to wait that long before, <laughs> before you're back in office. It's only a few dates close together. It could be done if it works out like it should. Could cancel, but yup, kind of a gut punch statement. 
But we are in an information war, so who the hell knows, wrote another Trump supporter, Angela Baldwin, writing, so basically the August thing is a bunch of bull because a reinstated president doesn't go on tour. Uh, well, you are ne not necessarily in an information war. You are at war with information. QAnon clowns. And a, 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 a sitting president does indeed go on tour. Donald Trump did it throughout his entire presidency, rallying to run again. Grift. Misinformation. Which, really, it is... It is an easy thing for that side of the aisle to grift because, and I'm not saying there's not dummies on, on, on the left. Certainly there are people are people, but there seems to be a higher concentration of gullible goons on the right. The, the people who got, got scammed in the build the wall scam that Steve Bannon was, was pardoned for. Uh, these people who are, are, are being duped into reoccurring charges in Don for Donald Trump's campaign. Donald Trump claiming that it's for legal bills and it's not at all. It's just going to his general campaign fund. And now these rubes, the sweaty mass, the walking mozzarella sticks are going to go and spend $100 for what was free in the dozens and dozens and dozens, if not hundreds of rallies Donald Trump has done. A hundred to $7,500. Anyway, I would love to know what you think. It, it is a remarkable time to, to be alive in America, watching a, a great swath of our country completely blinded by what can only charitably be called uh, insanity. These are conspiracy theories that they believe that aren't even plausible. But, but Satan worship, Democrats eating kids, s Jewish space lasers. I, I mean, it makes you long for the days of false flag operation conspiracy theories. I, I don't. But it almost does, and we'll say that. Anyway, I'd love to know what you think. Uh, please, you can leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. I read every email. I listen to every voicemail. Uh, I don't always respond um, because there are so many of them. But know that you are getting your, your opinion on the record, and certainly it does impact what I cover, the things I talk about. Um, and occasionally I do um, mix them in into the content. So uh, follow me on social media. I'd love to connect with you there. Instagram, Twitter, uh, TikTok now. You can subscribe to my podcast. It's called I Doubt It. It is a weekly show with my lovely, talented, and scholarly co-host who is not in the room, but I am gesturing toward her desk. And I would encourage you, if you are in a financial position to do so, not if you have to budget it in, not that, you're on a fixed income. No, my content is free. It will always be free. But if you want to help produce my content, you can click the join button, see what's involved and become a channel member for fewer than $2 a month and help produce what I do here. If you feel I bring you value. If there's someone else out there on the platform who does more for you or brings you more value, support that person. Um, these are times where independent voices, independent media, uh, I don't necessarily consider myself a journalist, but uh, it is important. Uh, our place in the, the sphere of uh, media. Anyway, I will see you next time. I love you. I appreciate you engaging with my content. Until then, be genuine. Take care of one another.